Shalom, my name is Ezra. Today's topic is Jesus, the Savior of the Lost. The scripture is Luke chapter 19, verse 1 to 10. Zacchaeus, a marginalized man. Marginalized it means of a person, group, or concept treated as insignificant or peripheral. In any society, there are always marginalized people. What do they want? Is it an improvement in living conditions? A change in status? Or the approval of others? Today's story is the story of a marginalized man named Zacchaeus. Interestingly, he was seeking to see who Jesus was. His desire came true, and the result was his great transformation. The story is recorded in Luke chapter 19, verse 1 to 10. Luke chapter 19, verse 1. He, Jesus, entered Jericho and was passing through. The picture here shows the terror of Jericho in Jesus' time. This is the city of Jericho today. And the topography here, here is the Dead Sea and Mediterranean Sea. Jericho is right here, uh, very close to the Dead Sea, and Jerusalem is here, very high. From Jericho to Jerusalem, uh, here is a beautiful picture that shows the topography of Israel. Uh, this is the Sea of Galilee, or the Lake of Galilee, and the Mediterranean Sea here. And you see the Jordan River Valley here is very low, below the sea level. Uh, the Sea of Galilee itself about 212 meters below the sea level. And we cannot see here the Dead Sea, but here at the end of the Jordan River, you have the Dead Sea. And it's about or more than 400 meters below sea level. And Jericho itself about 270 or 300 something meters below the sea level. And to the west, you have here Jerusalem uh, and the hill country of Judean hill country. is uh, elevation about 700 to 800 meters. So between Jericho and Jerusalem, you have to walk 35 kilometers approximately, but you have to climb almost 1,000 meters or more than that. Okay, it's a beautiful picture. Luke chapter 19, 2. And behold, there was a man named Zacchaeus. He was a chief tax collector and was rich. If we pay attention to the vocabularies related to the concept of to see in this paragraph, we can find interesting lessons. The first word is behold, behold. In Greek, idu, idu. This word is usually used as an interjection. At that time, there should have been a lot of people living in Jericho, but Jesus pays attention to only one person, Zacchaeus, the chief tax collector. Tax collectors, also known as publicans, are mentioned many times in the New Testament. They were reviled by the Jews of Jesus' day because of their perceived greed and collaboration with Roman occupiers. Luke 19.3 And he was seeking to see who Jesus was, but on account of the crowd he could not, because he was small in stature. This is the second case where we can find the word related to see, to see here, in Greek, idin, idin. Zacchaeus, the chief tax collector in Jericho, was seeking to see who Jesus was, but because he was short, he could not see of the crowd. But do not forget, he didn't give up. According to Matthew 7, 7 to 8, Jesus says like this, Ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and it will be opened to you. For everyone who asks, receives. And the one who seeks, finds. And to the one who knocks, it will be opened. Zacchaeus didn't give up. Luke 19.4 So he ran on ahead and climbed up into a sycamore tree, to see him, 
for he was about to pass that way. Again, here we have to see. In Greek, it thee. Zacchaeus' desire to see Jesus was so strong that he ran ahead and climbed the sycamore fig tree to see Jesus. He didn't take into account people's thoughts at all. His eyes were set only on Jesus. Such a naive man, as his name means. The name Zacchaeus, Zachai in Hebrew means pure, pure, Zachai. Uh, this is the picture of sycamore tree. It is called Egyptian fig. Again here, another uh, picture. We have more pictures of sycamore tree, Egyptian fig, the fig fruit here, uh, fruits here, so many fruits. Okay, more pictures showing the fig fruits here, sycamore tree. Luke 19, 5 and 6. And when Jesus came to the place, he looked up. Again, we have the word, he looked up, anavlepsas in Greek, and said to him, Zacchaeus, hurry and come down, for I must stay at your house today. So he hurried and came down and received him joyfully. If Jesus had only walked straight forward, even if Zacchaeus could have seen him, he probably couldn't have seen Zacchaeus. But Jesus looked up to Zacchaeus. He also knew his name. That's why he called Zacchaeus. At the moment, Zacchaeus' excitement is imaginable. He couldn't believe the words of Jesus. Zacchaeus, hurry and come down, for I must stay at your house today. He never anticipated such an opportunity to have Jesus as a guest at his house. What a privilege it is to provide Jesus with a room and mirrors at home. Luke 19, 7, and when they saw it, they saw it in Greek, idontes. The same Greek word occurs already in verses 3 and 4. They all grumbled. He has gone in to be the guest of a man who is a sinner. Now the crowd began to murmur of what was going on between Jesus and Zacchaeus. In their eyes, a tax collector like Zacchaeus was a sinner whom Jesus had to avoid any contact with. At that time, tax collectors were classified at the same level as sinners or even prostitutes. Okay, look Matthew 9.10, And as Jesus reclined at table in the house, behold, many tax collectors and sinners, do you see, tax collectors and sinners, came and were reclining with Jesus and his disciples. Matthew 21.31, Truly I say to you, the tax collectors and the prostitutes go into the kingdom of God before you. But do not forget, Jesus and John the Baptist, they welcomed even tax collectors. Do you remember the name Matthew? He was one of the twelve disciples of Jesus. He used to be a tax collector and he became a disciple of Jesus Christ. Luke 19.8a And Zacchaeus stood and said to the Lord, Behold, in Greek, idu. This is the second occurrence in this paragraph of this Greek word, idu. We have it already in verse 2. Lord, the half of my goods I give to the poor. We see in this passage a great a radical change or transformation of Zacchaeus after meeting Jesus. There's no record of any conversations between Jesus and him during Jesus' stay at his home. In any case, Zacchaeus became a new person, totally new person. He was a miser before meeting Jesus, but after the meeting, he turned to be a generous man. In Hebrew, we have idioms like evil eye, which means a miser, a good eye, that means a generous person. We can find such passages in Proverbs 22.9. He who has a generous eye, generous eye, good eye, literally in Hebrew, will be blessed, for he gives of his bread to the poor. Proverbs 23.6. Do not eat 
the breath of a miser, miser, literally in Hebrew, a bad eye, no desire his delicacies. Proverbs 28, 22, a man with an evil eye again, evil eye means miser, hastens after riches and does not consider that poverty will come upon him. Such a wealthy man are like Zacchaeus, and for him giving away half of his possessions to the poor, I believe it is not easy to do. But he wants to do that. He says to the Lord, I will do that, I will do that. Do you see the great change in his life? Jesus brought such a great change in his life. You know, Jesus is the person who makes changes, radical changes for anyone. Do you feel you are marginalized? Come to Jesus and he will change you. You can be a new person. We continue Luke 19, 8, 8, B. And if I have defrauded, cheated, anyone of anything, I restore it fourfold, four times the amount. Okay, regarding the quadruple compensation of any damage, we can find passages uh, in the Old Testament. For example, Exodus 22, 1. If a man steals an ox or a sheep and kills it or sells it, he shall repay five oxen for an ox. And for sheep, for sheep, do you see? For sheep, for sheep. Also, Second Samuel uh, 12, 2 to 6. The rich man had very many flocks and herds, but the poor man had nothing but one little ewe lamb, but he took the poor man's lamb. And continued, the man who has done this deserves to die. This is said by David. Uh, and he shall restore the lamb fourfold. Do you see? He shall restore the lamb fourfold because he did this thing and because he had no pity. Luke 19, 9, And Jesus said to him, Today salvation has come to this house, since he also is a son of Abraham. Uh, the phrase son of Abraham, we can learn through the following passages about this phrase. Uh, Matthew 3, 9, And do not presume to say to yourselves, We have Abraham as our father, for I tell you, God is able from these stones to raise up children for Abraham. Also Matthew 8, 11, I tell you, many will come from east and west and recline at table with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob in the kingdom of heaven. They are in the kingdom of heaven with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Luke 13, 16, And ought not this woman, a daughter of Abraham, whom Satan bound for 18 years, be loosed, etc.? Okay, the phrase son of Abraham, we can learn, perhaps we can say they are the real member of the congregation of Israel, or furthermore, a child, children of God. Okay, Zacchaeus became a real son of Abraham. He's no longer a marginalized person, but a proud member of the congregation of Israel, and furthermore, a child of God. Luke 19.10, For the Son of Man came to seek and to save the lost. What does he mean by this word, the lost? Simply, we can read the following passages to figure out what that means. Matthew 10.6, But go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Aha, the people of Israel. Actually, they belong to God. They were supposed to worship God, but, but they were lost. And God you know, is seeking to is seeking them, the lost sheep. Matthew fifteen twenty four. he answered, I was sent only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Do you see? Even Jesus was sent only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Actually, they belonged to him. That's why he came to seek them. Luke fifteen four. if he has lost one of them lost, does not leave the ninety-nine in the open country and go after the one that is lost until he finds it. Okay, again, a uh, parable with, with the uh, sheep. And Luke 15, 6, Rejoice with me, for I have found my sheep that was lost. You are lost actually, but you had belonged to God. You are supposed to be a child of God, but you are lost now. That's why Jesus came to seek you and to save you. Yes, that's right. Our Lord Jesus is the Savior of the lost like me. He welcomes all marginalized people. If you seek him, he will seek you too. 
and he will save you. Amen. Okay, I like to say a word of blessing from the Bible instead of saying goodbye. It is from Numbers 6, 24 to 26. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Is like this in Hebrew. Yevrech Adonai Veshmrecha, Yael Adonai Panavelecha Vikunecha, Isa Adonai Panavelecha Vyasemlecha Shalom.